Good morning, this is Keith All. In today's tutorial, we're going to learn how to create this inner shadow that you see here with the text. So it's a very simple process. Um, all I did was, um, of course, create a new document. I'm going to use black as my ba uh, background here, which is currently my foreground color here. So all I'm going to do is use the paint bucket tool. And then uh, click, and it'll uh, fill my background with whatever my foreground color is. So now let's add some text. I'm going to use the horizontal type tool and I'm just going to type in some text click up here to enter it now I'm going to move the text a little bit there we go let's center it and now if you're wondering how I'm getting the spacing between um, my two lines here all I have to do is bring up the character panel and I'm using these two adjustments here the leading um, and the tracking the leading is the spacing between if you have multiple lines it's uh, the spacing between the two lines and the tracking is the spacing between the letters here. So if we go ahead and adjust this, watch what happens. Okay. And then if I'm doing this, the leading, it'll bring, again, it's, it works with the vertical portion of it. So that's that. Now, uh, now the simple process is you could uh, go to your current layer, double click on it to open up the type uh, uh, layer style, and then find the inner shadow. So just click on the inner shadow, and of course it's already creating a shadow. So basically I use the blend mode of multiply. I keep this the same. And all you have to do is work with these adjustments here to get the effect that you would want. So the distance is the offset of the shadow. So let's adjust that and let's watch what happens. See what happens to the text. So that's that. Now the, uh, the choke adjustment is reduces the layer mask prior to blurring so let's adjust that to see what happens see how the effect that you could get by that and now let's do the size see the effect that you could get with that so and that's basically all I did um, with the inner shadow so if I go ahead and zoom in, you can see the effect that you can have. So play around with these adjustments and uh, see what you can create with it. Hopefully today's tutorial gave you another skill set to working with Photoshop and working with text and creating inner shadows. Uh, please stop by often. Again, I upload videos multiple times a week. Uh, subscribe to my channel and click on that bell notification so you always get updated whenever I upload a new video. And of course, please like, share, and comment. Um, any questions, leave them in the comments below. And again, this is Keith All, and you have a great day, and I'll see you on the next video.